and the two teams now. So just, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to your two sides, Dorking Wanderers and Slough Town. Let's run through those two sides for you. Starting with Dorking Wanderers, number one, Slav or Huck. Number four, Ed Harris. Five, David Ray. Six is the captain, Sammy L. Abd. Eight, Niall McManus. Uh, eight is Niall McManus. Nine, Jason Pry. Eleven, James McShane. Fourteen, Jake Gallagher. Fifteen, Matthew Briggs. Eighteen, Luke Moore. Twenty, Tom Richards. For the Rebels is Jack Turner wearing one. Four is the captain, Sam Togwell. Five, Guy Hollis. Six, Lee Togwell. Seven. And there you go. That is kickoff here this afternoon at Arbor Park. Ball's been played back to Guy Hollis. Straight back towards Jack Turner. Gets the first touch in his luminous kit. And launches the ball long down the field for Ben Harris. Flicked on well by Harris. Walsfold trying to get behind the defence onto the edge of that flick. And he can't just get to it. Goes out of play for a goal kick. Had a couple of games at Slough. Sam Togwell with the header away. Dunn turns with the ball at his feet. Down the line to Walsfold. Walsfold keeps the ball in well. And this left hand side, treads on the ball, leaves it for Dunn. Dunn crosses first time. Bird chests it down towards Lynch. Lynch shoots first time, just wide of the goal. And the first effort of the game. And, uh, Guy Hollis just trying to arch his back over this black fencing around here as Ryan Bird makes a run to the far post. Goes in towards Sam Togwell, header wide by him and over the top of the bar by Snell. Uh, Gallagher, Gallagher, the other summer signing from Aldershot, plays in Briggs down this near hand side. Our oh, Briggs cuts inside. And uh, running through towards goal, gets a chance to shoot, and it's a great save with his feet by Jack Turner. And referee Richardson just watching, there's a couple of players on the line, some just pull away. And the ball right in there, oh, it's right across the face of the goal. And unfortunately for Snell, Ryan Bird couldn't get that touch. Here with Matt Briggs, Briggs trying to play it on the far hand side, finding Ed Harris. Does well to keep the ball in, good touch by him. Harrison crossing the ball far side, Pryor's unmarked in the box, little cushion header, far hand side, great save by Jack Turner with his feet. Um, from McShane, and then the ball's been headed out and still get a break, but uh, great save by Jack Turner again with his feet. Another line for the throw to come in. Aimed towards Pryor, who flicks the ball on well, flicked on then by Richard, break for um, Dorking here with McManus, bursting through on goal, tries to play it across it, oh he puts it too far past Richards. He could have had a shot at goal. Stout with numbers back. Ball still with Richards on the far hand side. Crosses, looking for Pryor. Lovely little header there. Flick header by Simon Dunn. Takes it away from Pryor. Lynch just waiting for a couple of Slough players to move forward. Sam Togwell stayed back. The referee indicating he wants the free kick taken. Lynch plays it into the box on the far hand side. Headed out, comes towards Lee Togwell. A little cushion header wide here for Sean Fraser. Can take a touch. Crosses in first time. Warren Harris with the header straight at the goalkeeper. Good header though. But in towards uh, McShane, he gets inside the box, tries to turn, curls it at the far post, but well wide of the goal. And uh, over the top and out for a goal kick. Here with McManus. McManus has time to play it across here towards Ray. Ray playing it forwards over the top here for Briggs to chase. Gets behind Simon Dunn. Briggs still going along. A touch comes in. Looks McManus with the stars. Uh, um, I tell you what, it was a shot from uh, McShane. It was wide of the target. But um, a lovely bit of defending by Simon Dunn. The Just having uh, some of the young Dorking fans behind him banging on the side bit there as Jack takes this uh, goal kick for Slough. Aimed towards Ryan Bird. He jumps early, headed away by Al Abt. Lee Togwell trying to win the ball and does so. Shoots from distance and it's straight at the goalkeeper. A great idea from uh, Lee Togwell. But um, shot from around about 40 yards. It was well spotted and then uh, Dawkins give the ball away, won by Matt Lynch, in towards Lee Togwell, finding Ben Harris, Ben Harris just overruns it, ball bouncing around, Slough looking for a free kick, not given, ball comes out towards Fold, in the box, hits it across, it's bouncing around, it comes off a Dawkins player for a corner to the Rebels, Fraser cuts inside with the ball. Still got the ball at his feet, inside towards Warsfold. Warsfold takes a little touch, over the touch here for Ryan Bird, who's onside, gets a chance, it's in, is it? Not in, it's cleared off the line by our abs. Ball still bouncing around, still trying to win it back here. And in the end though, Dorking Wanderers clear. The ball's here, ball's here with McShane. Warsfold hasn't come back to defend. McShane back heels it. It comes through to Briggs in the end. And Briggs' first time ball is cleared by um, Lynch. Ball back inside here to McManus, who's trying to turn inside the box. Creates a bit of space here for Richards on the edge of the box. Inside here towards Pryor. Pryor shoots, well saved by uh, Turner. Ball comes back out. 
here towards Moore. Moore plays it across, little no-look pass there, and it runs out of play for a goal kick. We're into uh, added time. We haven't had an indication of how long it's going to be added on. We'll find that out for you in a second. As Jack Turner comes to take it, it'll be a minute of added time. A minute of added time here at Arbor Park. Nil nil is the score. Play the ball. Pryor holds it up well. Ball not gone out of play. Here with McManus. Under pressure from Warren Harris. McManus does well. Plays it inside towards Moore. And that is the half time whistle here at uh, Arbor Park. It's nil nil between the two sides here. Uh, but it's been an entertaining game. Both teams have had six efforts at goal, but uh, nil-nil is the score. More of this free kick floated towards the back post. It's headed back into the world, but uh, easily taken by Jack Turner. It's here with uh, Fraser. Fraser, quick ball down the ring. Warren Harris is in here behind the defence. Goalkeeper comes out. Warren Harris shoots. It's still defended. Warren Harris still keeps the ball inside the box. Free here towards Ben Harris. Harris trying to turn away. Trying to get a shot with his left foot. Force wide. Gives it to Max Warsfold. Warsfold plays in. Oh, Ryan Bird tries to stretch. And can't get to it. And out of play. But good play down by the Rebels there. And Moore with an outswinging corner. Goes towards Pryor. Pryor heads it wide of the goal. It's a good header. But uh, just couldn't direct it goalwards. And off target. And out of play for a goal kick. And the ball headed goalwards by Ryan Bird, but easily saved by uh, Huck in the... the um, Guy Hollis has been told off by the linesman and wasn't looking. As the throw comes in, bouncing around. It'll come back out here towards Guy Hollis. Takes a touch on the 18-yard line. Chips it back in. Sam Togwell with a header just over the bar. <laughs> Only as far as Lee Togwell, who heads it on towards Ryan Bird. Takes it down on his chest. Hooks the ball over the top for Armadi to chase. Armadi up against Alad. Armadi gets in front. Gets in front of him, gets to the goal line, and the goalkeeper makes a really good save from Armati, blocking him as he came in at the near post and out for a corner to the Rebels. It's here with the ball played down. Well blocked by Simon Dunn, filling in his left back hit. Ball comes towards Lee Togwell. First time we've really seen Lee Togwell in the opposition half. Finds Bird. Bird finding Scott Davis. Davis with the ball finds Armati. Armati trying to hold the ball up, does really well. Now can turn and run at the defence. Cuts inside, takes a shot from distance, and it's great save by. Uh, Huck in the goal. He's by Sol. Goes back towards Turner. Turner long ball down the line here. Looking for Manny Williams. Williams, oh, lovely control by Williams. Finds Fraser. Fraser looks up. Ball inside towards Williams. Williams finds the ball. Cross here towards Lynch. 35 yards away from goal. Lynch takes a look. Takes a shot. Uh, it's way over the top of the bar and out of the ground. With this free kick. Aimed towards Guy Hollis, who's forwards. Ball comes back to the edge of the box. McManus hooks the ball clear. Headed on there, and Sam Togwell doesn't get a touch, and uh, the referee pulls it off. It's a second yellow card for Sam Togwell, and the last thing that Slough wanted was... Um, and uh, Turner with this long kick aimed here towards Manny Williams. Williams beaten to the ball by Bird. It will come out into the centre. Missed by Sol, but then uh, ball over the top here for Briggs. Briggs coming down the right-hand side, bursting into the box. Ryan Bird, what a great challenge that is by him. Ball still in the box over with Briggs. Played a lovely little one-two to Philpott, who fires it high and over the top of the bar. Oh, he's got Richards in front of him. Chips the ball in over the top towards Pryor, over his head. He does well to keep it in and find Briggs. Briggs trying to cut inside, does well to kick, cut inside one, still running with the ball. Hits the ball, gets blocked. Pryor with a shot, hits the edge of the woodwork on the near hand side, but goes wide of the goal. Turn, a long ball down the field, headed away by Ray. Comes through to Pryor, heads it on, soles offside. And the referee has said play on with Briggs. Briggs scores! Dorking Wanderers steal it in the last seconds of the game with a goal it was a ball played over the top Sol was offside Slough stopped but Briggs on the far hand side was onside a 
as Huck plays the ball down the field. Pryor wins the header. It's all over. It's full time here at uh, Arbour Park. And it's finished Slough Town nil, Dorking Wanderers 1. And um, Slough will be disappointed in a controversial goal, stealing the points here. Didn't really look as though either side deserved to win. It looked like it had nil-nil written all over it.